be sure to subscribe for more content. What is up ladies and gents, welcome to the Big BC Finance channel and I hope you're having a very lovely day today. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about none other than Dogecoin, what has happened to it recently and where we predict the price to go to in the near future with some key price levels and some trades I'm looking to make. And of course, I want to answer the big question, how high can the price go for Dogecoin? Of course, we've seen a lot of publicity around Elon Musk buying Twitter. If we just go onto Twitter right now and check Elon Musk's Twitter, He's getting so many interactions. Eight hours ago, the bird is free to refer to Twitter and that got 1.2 million likes. Of course, yesterday he made this video. He made this video about him enter entering the Twitter headquarters with a sink and saying, let that sink in. 1.2 million likes. Of course, I had to like that because that's insane. But why am I telling you this? Because obviously when this man gets attention, Dogecoin gets attention. And we can see that on the side there, trends for us. Doge is top trending here on Twitter right now, as with Musk. So basically every Every time this man gets attention, every time this Twitter purchase from Elon gets attention, Dogecoin is going to get attention. And when Dogecoin gets attention, we get price moves like this. Of course, yesterday we saw the price top out at around 8.5 cents. We saw it go back down to 7.3, 7.2 cents. But you know, just this morning, he's got all that more attention. You know, there's news articles talking about his every move when he's in Twitter, Fire, firing the current CEO from Twitter get, gets mentioned. He's firing the person who banned Donald Trump off Twitter and things like that. So of course, there's so much attention on him right now on every news article. And when that happens, we just see Dogecoin do these crazy price moves. So from its bottom, you know, just a few days ago and to its very top, we've seen this 43% pump. And at the moment, things are still looking good. And I'll explain why in just a second. So the annotations popped up here. The first thing that's very good that shows me that this can continue to go forward and that this price move is sustainable and not just gonna shoot straight back down is the fact that we've got this rising volume. So every time, every time we see a pump like this, of course, it's always a really good sign if we've got rising volume, which means there's still buyers coming in to buy Dogecoin at these levels. You know, if we'd seen the volume go the other way and we saw the volume declining from a high at the start to a much lower position, kind of like this, then obviously that's very worrying because you know buyers are not coming in to buy any more Dogecoin and the price would start seeing those retracements but at the moment we're seeing the sustainable price move it's above zero it's above eight cents at the moment and the volume is pretty and the volume is very high so as long as elon musk still gets attention as long as there's new news coming out about the twitter acquisition from him then dogecoin can keep on soaring so so from this one hour time frame that we've got on dogecoin basically what i'm really looking at is this short term uh, moving average is 50 hour moving average that we got here this lighter green line is a very has been respected quite well we can see that we had this uptrend line that was kind of carrying the price upwards we saw a dip below but then we saw a nice support here on the 50 hour moving average so this is a moving average that i'm first going to be keeping my eye on of course if we're above this moving average that's very good that's very bullish and of course this trend line as well the same thing applies if we're above this trend line that's very good the thing that I'm really paying attention to is this longer term trend line that we have here. So obviously if I zoom out here on Dogecoin, we can see that it's been a nice resistance line here for Dogecoin since the start of 2022. Of course, every time we've seen the price pump, we've seen it pump to this resistance. So, you know, we can we can literally highlight three areas where the price pumped straight to and came straight back down. So if we just have a look at this 14th of January incident, for example, this is the one day chart. So in the very same day, we saw the price come back out and close all the way down here. So it pumped literally from a low of 17 cents, got to 22 cents on Dogecoin, 21 cents and came back down to 18 cents. So very volatile pump there that shot the price back down. We can see in these instances as well, it only a matter of one day or two days before the price came back down. Down. And now we have this pump here. Of course, every candle is one day. So is history going to repeat itself? And are we going to see the price do something like this straight back down? Or is this pump more sustained? Now, that is a very, very big question. And of course, it really comes down to how it interacts with these lines here. So of course, we have this trend line going up, like I say, that moving average, and we've got this resistance line. And it's now just down to Dogecoin to make its mind up where it's going to go. Of course, in terms of price targets, the main pattern that I do see forming right now is something that looks like this. Of course, in my experience with mean coins and their pumps, we always see a period of consolidation. So we did see that yesterday as well. If you did follow me yesterday and you did manage to trade this triangle, then congratulations because we did see a breakout to the upside. Of course, I posted this signal on my trading view. So be sure to follow me on my trading view. If 
you want to catch my signals earlier but basically we predicted that there was going to be a triangle and a subsequent breakout and indeed we saw the price go from 7.7 .7 cents to that high of 8.5 cents there yesterday so again congrats if you did trade that um but that's the first major consolidation that we saw on dogecoin obviously you can see here there's little periods where the price started on its way up but nothing major like we're seeing right now so of course what i do see forming in the bigger picture is a triangle that looks like this and this is very exciting for all this is a very exciting triangle to be looking at because of course you know it's a fairly big triangle so far we're doing quite well we've got so far we've got several tests of the support down there so we've got two at least two tests in this region here and we've got two tests in this region here so we could say we've had at least four tests of that support we've had two tests of this resistance so ideally i'd like to see the price test that resistance a few more times um, but basically i do think we're seeing this triangle form and i do think we could see the price do something like this where it kind of consolidates out and at some point we're going to see a breakout in my opinion and of course the breakout should have a price target of the first test and resistance and the first test of the resistance and the first test of the support the distance between that is 18 percent so if we break out you know within the next few hours here on dogecoin which would take the price above the triangle in this region here for example we could see 9.5 cents here on dogecoin and of course if we do break below this triangle and we uh if we do break below this triangle in the next few hours, for example, if the price comes all the way down to 7.3 cents, uh, then our price target underneath is 6 cents down there. So this is a very bearish case scenario. It's a very large triangle. Um, and so the price targets are pretty crazy. So of course, this is something I'm observing right now. It could be invalidated. It's still quite a young triangle. So, you know, the price could do something else and it would have to readjust the triangle to fit the price action. But this is the most promising chart pattern I'm seeing at the moment, of course. Of course, if I bring up the MACD and the RSA as well to support the fact that we're seeing increased volume and therefore increased momentum, we can see that, you know, joining these two peaks that we have here, we have this downtrend line on Dogecoin here. So this is the 15 minute chart now. We have these two peaks that can be joined by this yellow, this orange line that we have here that's pointing in the downwards direction. But if I draw the peaks here on the MACD and the RSI, they're actually pointing in more of an upwards direction. So on the RSI, it's a little bit more flat, but on the MACD, it's in a clear up direction. So that to me is a very, very bullish sign. And that's a testament to just how much momentum is coming into Dogecoin recently, how much more buyer support Dogecoin is getting at these price levels up here. So this is a very good sign that the MACD is showing a positive divergence. And that should mean that this momentum in the upwards direction is sustainable for at least the near future. And of course, with the RSI, it's pointing in a more flat direction, which still isn't the downwards direction that we see on the price. So that's still very bullish in my opinion, of course. MACD and RSI are also spending most of their time above the halfway line, so above 50 on the RSI and above the zero line on the MACD, indicating that Dogecoin is still in is still in the midst of a very bullish trend and it shows no signs of potentially slowing down at the moment. So very bullish stuff here on Dogecoin. Of course, the question really just becomes what it's going to do when it comes to this long-term resistance that we have here and what it does in terms of this consolidation. Of course, it are we going to break out of this triangle to 9.5 cents or are we going to break below and of course if we break above and um, if we break above then i'd expect to hit some resistance at this yellow line here so this would be a partial take profit for me and another partial take profit would be in a similar region at this 8.5 cents level because if we look back in time uh, if i go on the day chart for example this this 8.5 cents level that we find ourselves off is a fairly major resistance in this time here back in august as well as back in 2021 when dogecoin first and of course this triangle here does actually remind me of the triangle that we saw back in 2021 on dogecoin as well of course if we have a look back here in the february 2021 when dogecoin first pump but before elon musk started popularizing it we can see that dogecoin followed a very similar triangle pattern and this is a testament as to why as why we use technical analysis to see one and of course if you watched for a breakout of the resistance there so the top line here on dogecoin and managed to trade that then of course you could have rode the price from six and a half cents all the way to nearly 75 cents on dogecoin so of course these triangles this is why we do technical analysis here on this channel because it's opportunities like this that we do not want to miss so of course this was a triangle that formed back in february 2021 and if we have a look at the triangle that we have now the only difference is ours is happening on a shorter time frame so we do have to be wary of that and of course ours is happening in a bear market so i don't want to say that the bias is to the downside because you know there's a lot of good news for dogecoin as well but you know i'm keeping my mind open for a breakout in either direction of course 
I do think the bias is bullish with in terms of momentum, in terms of volume that we have here, and in terms of the news. But of course, if the news dries up, Twitter gets less and less mentions, and Elon Musk gets less and less mentions, then we could see the same with Dogecoin. We could see the price eventually go down. But right now, momentum is very bullish, volume is very bullish, and we look like we're about to break out of some sort of triangle. So, you know, if we do that, the price target would be 9.5 cents here on Dogecoin. Of course, there'll be a massive take profit partial take profit for me at this level at 8.5 cents because this is a long-term resistance so if we do actually crash above that then you know that would be amazing and I would hold the rest of my position to 9.5 but I can also see something like this happening where Deutsche Coin tries to break through it but there's a lot of pressure at this region here so that's another thing uh, that I wanted to say and of course if we do break below the downside then there's some partial take profits I'll be taking on the way down to six cents at these Fibonacci levels. So one that I'd be taking is this 0.5 Fib that we have here. It looks like a fairly strong support for Dogecoin. And another partial take profit I'm gonna take is at this Fib here and the last one at this level here as well. So those are some price levels that I'm looking out for in the case of a breakout of this triangle. Of course, every triangle breakout is supported by increase in volume. So we wanna see an even more increase in volume if we do break out of this triangle. And we wanna see large momentum on the candles. So that just means large green or large red candles. If it's just ranging in a very small price range, then it's not a real breakout. So that's what all I want to say. Again, remember, I will up my, update my trading view if I do make a trade here on Dogecoin. So be sure to follow me on there if you are looking to do the same but otherwise guys thank you so much for watching i hope you got something from this video if you're not yet subscribed be sure to subscribe and otherwise i'll see you in my next video